Dan and Miller presents the Pain Review Course 2017, featuring Benjamin Liu, M.D., Imaging of Pain, Part 1, CT and Plain Films. Oblique views in the cervical spine give us a really good look down each of the neural foramen, and th these are normal um, uh, radiographs in the cervical spine, so you can see that there's absolutely no uh, osseous uh, neuroforaminal stenosis. Uh, which can occur from uh, facet disease as well as due to uh, uncovertebral joint uh, disease. So uh, this is an example of an oblique uh, cervical spine radiograph where there is actually a uh, foraminal stenosis. So you can see that at the C5, C6 level, uh, there is a uh, facet disease uh, posteriorly, which is encroaching on the neural foramen, as well as uh, uh, m play osteophytes, specifically uh, uncovertebral joint uh, osteophytes, which is at the corners of the uh, vertebral bodies in the cervical spine. And this is uh, encroaching on this neural foramen, causing severe neuroforaminal stenosis on the right at uh, C5, C6. Uh, in the, um Featuring Kenneth Candido, MD. Nociceptive pain. This is what it looks like. So here we have our GRC, gray rama communicante. Deeper to that, we have the ventral ramus. And posteriorly, we have the sinuvertebral nerve. So this is a very important slide for those of you preparing for exam. It's in your handout, of course. I highly recommend that you spend some time studying this before you sit down for that exam. Now, this one, nobody should get wrong, and nobody should get wrong because I've already told you two separate occasions what the answer is. So, chemicals that are found in the internal milieu, that's a beautiful word, milieu, of the nucleus pulposus include which of the following? And this is, this is a little bit of an uh, index about what these letters stand for. CGRP, VIP, substance P. I don't want to read the whole thing because it'll take too long. Wow, 95%, that's fantastic. And that's an important. The reason I highlighted that three separate occasions for you is because that is something which typically appears in one form or another on examination, and also because of the immense uh, influence of phospholipase A2 and how it 